I'm Anil Kumar and in this video you are going to learn the technique of finding equivalent expressions using related acute angle and cast rule. So the question here is use the related acute angle to state equivalent expressions. So equivalent expressions means that the trigonometric ratio should have the same value. So we are given sine of 120 degrees, tan of 130 degrees, cosine of 140 degrees you need to find equivalent expression for each. So you can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. So what we are going to do here is analyze the situation with reference to the cost rule and acute angle. Now when I say sine of 120 degrees, what does that mean? It means that my initial arm is along the positive x-axis and the terminal arm is making an angle of 120 degrees counterclockwise, right? So, so it is kind of like this. So what we have here is theta equals to 120 degrees. Now what is a related acute angle? Related acute angle is always the angle which is from the horizontal line. So it's less than 90 degrees from horizontal line. In this case, this is the angle. We normally use beta for this sign. And as you can see, beta, this total is 180 degrees. So in this case, beta is equals to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. And that gives you 60 degrees. So the related acute angle is 60 degrees. We need to state equivalent expression. We know sine is positive in two quadrants. Sine is positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2, right? So sine is quadrant uh, in quadrant 1 and 2, it is positive. So let's write down the cost rule, which is cos is positive in quadrant 4, all are positive in quadrant 1, sine in 2, tan in 3. Since we are looking for a positive value, the equivalent expression should be in quadrant 1 with the angle same as the acute angle beta. Do you understand? So the equivalent expression which we could write for sine of 120 degrees will be equals to sine of 60 degrees. So that is how we could write. Now some of you can also give examples use these two angles. Now that is kind of extended but here sine will be negative, right? So in that case what you could also do is you could write the answers as negative of 180 plus 60. You could write this as negative of sine of, so I'm just not calculating but writing 100 and I mean 180 degrees plus 60 degrees, correct? So that could be in this quadrant, negative and negative will make it positive or even we could write negative of sine of 360 degrees minus 60 degrees. So, so those are also correct answers but preferred answer is sine 60 degrees. Now let's get back to tan of 130 degrees. Tan of 130 degrees that means again we are in quadrant 2, right? So that is tan of 130 degrees, so that is the angle. 130 degrees. So if I say 130 degrees is the angle, then what is beta equals to? Beta is equals to 180 minus 130, so it is 50 degrees. Correct? So what we found here is the acute angle, beta, is equals to 180 degrees minus 130 degrees, and that is equal to 180 minus 130 is equals to 50 degrees. So that is the angle beta. Now tan is negative here. As you can see, tan is negative. Tan will be negative in which other quadrant? Tan will be negative in quadrant 4 also. Where if the acute angle is 50, what is the principal angle? That is this angle. That angle is going to be 360 minus 50. So we could write that angle theta as equals to 360 degrees minus 50 degrees, right, which is 310 degrees. So I could write tan 130 degrees is equivalent to tan of 
310 degrees. Both will have negative answers and that is how we could get it. The last one here is cosine of 140 so that is again angle in this particular direction. If we have this angle as 140 degrees then what is the acute angle? Acute angle beta for us is 40 degrees, right? 180 degrees minus 40 degrees and that is equals to 40 degrees. So that is beta for us. Cos is negative in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3. Therefore, the other equivalent angle should be here. That means 40 more than 180. So theta for us will be 180 degrees plus 40 degrees and that is equals to 220 degrees. So we could write cos of 140 degrees equals to cos of 220 degrees. You can use your calculator, check the results. You'll get the same answers. Positive, positive, negative, 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 negative. If you are in quadrant 2, the only trigonometric ratio which is going to be positive is sine or it's the reciprocal of course, cosecant right the others will be negative right so that is how you could solve such a question now this question as you can see can have multiple answers right I could also write this in different ways I could also write this as 40 degrees with a negative sign here so if I write minus cos of 40 degrees it is equivalent you'll get the same ratio correct I could also write an answer as minus 360 minus 40 or cos of 320 degrees. All are equivalent, right? So these are the ways in which we could write, express a, a, our answer. We could also write this as going clock counterclockwise, minus cos of minus 40 degrees, right? That is also going to give us the same, same, same value. These are all equivalent expressions, so you can always get more than one answer, but the ones which I gave initially are the preferred answers for such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you.